Okay, there we go. All right, with us we have the Titans of Wisconsin Oshkosh. They just defeated Edgewood, Edgewood College 61-40 in the first round of the NCAA Division III Women's Basketball Championship. Joining us this evening is head coach Brad Fisher, student athletes Olivia Campbell, Leah Porath, and Nikki Arson. Coach, we'll start with an opening statement. Yeah, I mean, I'm proud of our team. Um, anytime you win the NCAA tournament, you, there's a sense of pride that you know you uh, half the field goes home tonight. So, uh, you know, every every time you go out there, everything gets cut in half. So, you know, just still be standing. Every one of them feels really good. So, we did a great job defensively. That's a team that scores a lot of points and had a great great year. And um, I just thought we were super active in gaps and knocking the ball loose and creating some uncomfortable situations for them. And um, our scout team did a great job getting us ready this week. And you know, I know we feel fortunate to, to keep playing and um, the more days we can get together the better so um, I'm just proud of our kids for, for getting this first one under under the belt. Alright thanks coach we'll open up the questions for our student athletes. Coach I just wanted to ask you first of all the late run that you guys got on you know, getting hot in the WIAC tournament uh, defeating uh, uh, UW uh, Eau Claire in the uh, WIAC championship game Obviously, it has given you guys something of a head of steam coming into the NCAA tournament. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, we found ourselves about three or four weeks ago. Um, you know, start of February, things weren't looking great, and we weren't playing well. And I knew we had the hard part for our coaches, uh, especially for those you know that we've. I've sat in these chairs before, and I knew this team was capable of that. So as a coach, you get those those feelings like we're going to let one slip away, and I know. Um, I just I know that feeling at the end of the year when you get to go to the tournament and what it feels like to get on the road and um, you know I was worried that I was going to let them down and not not help us get here and then these guys turned it on and started playing their best basketball and, and we just kind of hit that point where we didn't have a choice anymore we either had to get better or we we're going to be done and um, they turned the corner and um, I think we all really believed that when the tournament started that we were going to win it and. The, better, the more we played, the better we played, the more we believed it. And now I think we got here and kind of a little bit feel the same way. Obviously, we know how good um, everyone is in this tournament and who's going to be in the next round is going to be a huge challenge. But we have a high level of confidence right now that we feel like if we play really well, we're tough to beat. Having been in this situation before, obviously, I'm sure naturally it's uh, having that experience, having that knowledge is a big help as well. Yeah, I mean, you can ask these guys. I think experience helps a lot. I think even just the <coughs> the day to day of what we do once you get here, and and how the days go, and and I think that helps kind of ease into it for us. I, you know, nothing is the first time for this group. Um, we don't really have a lot of freshmen in the rotation, so this is an experienced group that's played in the Sweet Sixteen before. So, um, you know, that's kind of what we talked about as the year went on too. We've seen every situation. I mean, we lost on bank threes this year. We lost on. And some crazy stuff. So we've felt it on both sides. So, you know, now we just feel like we just got to go play. And, you know, however it plays out, we've been in that spot before. And, and you know, I kind of felt the same way here today that um, we might have had a little bit of advantage with them, you know, being here for the first time and us having a little bit of a, a routine of, of what we want to do here. Somewhat ironically, uh, before the game tonight, uh, an acquaintance of mine, Jesse Ravis, who just played for you guys, <laughs> told me to keep an eye on, on these three players. <laughs> she obviously knew what she was talking about. Uh, I, I guess the thing that struck me when I first saw you guys on the floor is just how big you guys really are. And just the side, the overall size of your team was, really stuck out at me, and, and it was obvious that played a big role here tonight. Thank you. We'll start with you. About our Are we big? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're big all the way up and down. I mean, Liv, obviously, she was announced as a forward today, but she's our point guard and um, all the way down the bench. Yeah. We, we, we definitely play bigger than what we are, though, so. Yeah, I think it helps that, I mean, some of our guards can even post up. Like, we have, even, even if we are smaller in some spots, we can play all the way around, so I think that helps our team a lot. Do we have any more questions for the student-athletes? Oh, okay, ladies, you're good to go. Good. Like, I'm I'm surprised people are that excited, you know, to have us on the other side. So our kids took a little bit, I think, of exception to that. 
um, I know I know how it kind of works, but at the same time, I'm like, dang, you know, we're we think we're pretty good too. So um, I was happy that we were able to take away some of the stuff that they're comfortable doing. And and again, I thought we just kind of squeezed them for those second and third quarters. And um, you know, they got loose a little bit in the fourth quarter, but otherwise, I thought we were really really solid on that on the defensive end of the floor.